people welcome back to the overwhelmed woman i'm emma and if you've got houses lofts wardrobes cupboards bursting at the seams with stuff then the idea of actually downsizing your storage is quite rightly going to fill you with dread but bear with me and hear me out because i've got some practical tips on how to do it and more importantly why you should do it and how it can massively be a game changer in winning your war on clutter not just in the short term, but in the long term. And believe me, this comes from 20 years of experience of living a very cluttered life. And as much as I love storage, because I do love a pretty storage basket, <laughs> I have realised that it is the work of Satan <laughs> for a few reasons. Firstly, your storage is costing you money. Um, when I add up all the pounds I've spent over the years on pretty baskets and those clear storage containers of which this is only a fraction of the amount I used to own um, that was full of stuff incidentally I dread to think how much that storage is costing me um, secondly storage is great but often we don't keep on top of what's inside our storage we let it build up we forget we've got stuff because we can't physically access it easily or get to it and we end up buying more things because we forgot we've got it or we just can't get to it um and we often just add to the clutter and inside the storage and then when that storage unit or drawer or wardrobe is full we go out and buy more storage so our storage becomes part of our cluttered life too and instead of tackling the clutter we just move it around and shoehorn things into somewhere else um, and by actually downsizing your clutter as well you can free up so much space um, so the way I started to do this, well actually the game changer was when we moved because I had to get all of my clothes, if you've watched my video about decluttering my clothes, into this wardrobe. So everything I owned has to go in here. Um, so I had to get rid of about 75% of my stuff. Had to, because there's physically nowhere to put it in this house. Do you know what? I haven't missed a single thing and it's made me much more intentional with what I keep. I'm much more aware of what I buy and um, am I ever really introducing stuff that I love that much because usually if I buy something it means I've got to get rid of something to accommodate it. So you become much more intentional with your stuff and your spending and that also links to the video I did about no buy um, weeks and spend freezes which is a game changer for getting your financial clutter um, sorted. So uh, a, a way to do it, a very simple way, is if you've got one of those three drawer clear plastic um, storage units, imagine one of the drawers had gone. You'd have to accommodate the stuff out that drawer into the other two, which probably would mean you've got to sort the other two drawers out and downsize some of that stuff. Uh, same with storage baskets. If you've got loads of those little storage baskets, just imagine you've got to take two out of that stash and you've got to fit in the, the things from those two baskets into the other baskets that you've got and you get to a point where if you use that it creates a boundary so it's kind of your guideline that you cannot go outside those lines so you have to stick within it and I adopt that principle now across all the areas of my home all the little drawers the wardrobe space everything and it's really helped me tackle my stuff for the long term um, so look, I mean, the best way as well to beat it completely is physically get rid of the storage itself. So when I lived in my old house, if you ever watch my very first video, which quite frankly, I cringe because I was so wooden, I bored myself. <laughs> but the uh, clutter control when you're overwhelmed or whatever it was very first video um, I talk about this in here because I used to have a beautiful cabinet that was a dumping ground for stuff cups unopened mail keys when it was organized it looked lovely but uh, it never stayed organized for long and I got so fed up one day with seeing all this crap all over it that I just took the whole unit apart now I didn't really think that through <laughs> because I ended up with piles of books everywhere but it made me sort the books out and it freed up a ton of space in what was a very small room um, and now I've got a very small cabinet that I house books in and if ever we get a new book we know that that cabinet represents our 
um, framework really that's kind of our boundaries so once any more books come in and they can't fit in that cabinet we have to either get rid of the books that are coming in or get rid of the books that are already in there and um, it sounds ruthless but if we ever get bought a book that we know is not really our bag it usually gets returned or upcycled or charited straight away um, likewise if there's a book that we have that we read and enjoy it then certainly I will get rid of books like that and then if I've got a great urge to read it again I'll go and get it from the library so you're also supporting your libraries that way and if there's books that are sentimental perhaps they've got a, an inscription in them I still think do I actually really need the book do I even need the inscription because I've become so better so much better at not being attached to things anymore and I remember, you know, let's be honest, we come into this world with nothing and we go out with nothing except hopefully the love of the people around us. So um, often I'll take a photograph if I really have an urge to keep something like that and put it in my photo book, which is another video I did recently about the power of the photo book. But anyway, I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration if you've got stuff everywhere. It sounds crazy, but I promise you, it really helps you tackle your clutter long term as well. And if you physically haven't got the storage, you can't fill it with crap that you don't need. <laughs> oh dear. So anyway, um, as always, I would love you to subscribe to the channel, drop a like in the video, share the love, get this overwhelmed woman channel up and running. And um, if you are overwhelmed, remember you're not alone. We're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can. We all deserve to lead a clutter-free life. And now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea.